What's up, Lowrider family? Welcome back to Lolos and More. Now, today we're going on episode number two of Lowrider Stories. Coming up with Dean Rivera and the 64 Impala. An amazing story. Stay tuned. Coming up next. Hey, Lowrider fam. My name is Dean Rivera, and my car is a 1964 Impala uh, SS Sport Coupe. Um, it has the factory four speed factory tack um, it's uh, pretty much a, an all original car I've tried to keep it in, in, in as much as I can uh, with that look um, I'm a member of Salito's car club uh, here in the Portland Vancouver area and I've been a member with the club uh, since its conception uh, of this chapter here uh, about a year um, my car, um, I've done quite a bit of work to the car. I think I've like taken 98% of this car and uh, rebuilt or restored uh, just about every component on the car. Um, currently, it has a uh, Chevy 350 block. Uh, it's got uh, 10 and a half to one compression, um, flat top pistons, uh, a mild cam in it, 202 heads. Um, Edelbrock uh, intake manifold and a four bell carburetor. It's got the uh, original 300 horse uh, exhaust manifolds that came with the car. And then it's got um, glass pack mufflers. Um, so the car itself, uh, it has, as you can see, had extensive work done on the car. 100% uh, uh, body and paint restoration. So currently it is painted its original color, which is uh, Daytona blue. That's the color the car came from uh, the factory. And uh, again, I've tried to keep that original look. Um, the car has a history um, in my family. It originally belonged to my younger sister. Um, she found the car in Salem, Oregon back in the um, 80s, in the very early 80s. She was up here visiting my family. Um, she found the car, she contacted me and she wanted me to come look at it because she was interested in buying it. I came and looked at the car, pretty much was in the condition it's in now. Um, and she purchased the car. Um, unfortunately, like a year later, she was, uh, killed by a drunk driver in an accident uh, in a different vehicle. So at that point, I became the caretaker of her car. I've, I've had her car uh, since 1982, um, and I try to keep it uh, in her memory and take care of it. So that's, that's like the story on this car. Um, it's, it's really her car and I'm just the caretaker. That's the way I, I tell people. Um, so anyway, uh, the car has uh, 14 by seven Supremes on it. Uh, it's old school, you know, um, kind of traditional old school low rider from way back in the day. Uh, and it's got uh, Corker 520 premium uh, sport tires on it. Yeah, the hydraulic setup in the car, is, it's got a pretty basic uh, uh, front to back, side to side, uh, two pumps, six batteries. Uh, uh, it's got, it goes six to the rear, six to the front, uh, three solenoids and three solenoids. Uh, it's a pretty clean setup. I've got eight inch cylinders in the front and 14s on the rear on deep cups. Um, it's got a Y bar in the back and power balls. Um, it's pretty pretty straightforward setup. It's uh, done really clean. I bought this setup from Hoppo's and installed it myself. The way my car is set up, um, it's just pretty straightforward, old school. Um, you know, I didn't. I tried to keep it stock looking and just make it really clean. And that's kind of like the lowriders that I remember way back in the day. Um, so, you know, for me, uh, my car is kind of a, I, I, every time, 
you know, I look at my car, it, it reminds me of them old school lowriders that I used to see when I was younger. And it's my way of paying homage to those guys that were around way back in the day, you know, um, out of respect for what they kind of gave all of us. Back in about 1975, I lost my oldest sister in an uh, auto car accident. Uh, she was killed by a drunk driver. And then a couple years later, uh, my mother was murdered walking down the street where we lived in, in the East Bay. Uh, at that point, it just, my family came down to me and my youngest sister. Um, and a few years later, I lost her as well. Uh, she was killed by a drunk driver in an accident in 1981. Uh, they were in a different vehicle, so the car you see sitting here with me is, is her car. And um, for me, you know, a big part of it is to, like cherish her memory and, and keep this alive. It's really cool for me to go out and take it out uh, knowing uh, that it's her car and take it to shows and tell people that and let them know her story. Um, so she's always riding with me. So for me, how has low riding helped me? Uh, you know, after I lost my mother and my sisters, my life took a turn for the worst. Um, you know, it's something I don't like talking about, but it is, it is my reality. I got involved with drugs and it, it took me down. Um, I got pretty far out there for a lot of years. Uh, I lost hope and I couldn't find my way out of it. Um, but eventually I did and I, I turned my life around. And for me, it was like getting back to something I loved and something I had lost touch with. And I got into uh, cars and started working on them and the 64 had been sitting for years and it wasn't in really bad shape, but it just had been kind of let go and neglected uh, like everything else in my life. So um, I took the car a little bit at a time, much as I had done myself and started rebuilding it. And you know, uh, I, I, I love going to the shows today and you know, being able to, to represent the lowriding community. And, you know, today my life is a lot different. You know, I'm a manager for a, a large glazing contractor and I've been at my job over 20 years. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's nothing like I, I ever thought it would be. And so I, I got a lot of gratitude for that. And so representing the lowrider community, representing my club and hanging out with my brothers, it's, uh, it's a really good thing, man. It's a great experience. I love being out there. Um, getting props from the people as we're rolling and, and uh, just doing this and keeping it alive. And, and, and that's my, my dream about, about this thing we do, you know, is that, uh, is that it keeps going. And so for me to be out there and, and represent the lowrider community, uh, it means a lot. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud to be part of it. Uh, down where I lived in the Bay Area, there was a, a big car culture. And so growing up, there was always cars around, uh, cool cars. My grandparents owned a restaurant in the Bay Area. And there were, it was the public high school was on, on the street the restaurant was on. And the Catholic high school was right across the street from their restaurant. And so uh, it was the hangout for all the kids uh, before school, at lunchtime, and after school. And so there was always cool cars out in front of the restaurant, as far back as I can remember. And so I always had that exposure, but I think when I got to be around a teenager, lowriders really started standing out to me and my friends. And the one, the one uh, the, well, there was two of them, two cars that stood out to us probably the most was uh, my recollection of these two uh, twin black 58 Impalas with Supremes on them. Uh, they, would, they would come off the freeway, the freeway off-ramp dump right into our neighborhood, and they would roll through our neighborhood. And, and then they would, they would kind of cruise around 
in our city and then you'd see them come back through the neighborhood, get back on the freeway and leave. And what I later learned was there were two twin brothers from East Oakland and they had these uh, twin 58 Impalas and these cars were like pristine, you know. And, and my recollection of that, you know, as a kid, we're riding our Stingray bicycles through the neighborhood and here come these two twin 58 Impalas, you know, and it was like, it was almost like time stopped when they came through, you know, and, and for me, that was like the hook, you know, and, and I think not just for me, but also my friends as well. You know, I remember the, when the first one of us, of the, you know, the kids that I hung out with got a car. Uh, it was my buddy Delano Moore and the car was a 58 Impala. My name is Dean Rivera from Portland, Oregon, and that's my lowrider story. <laughs>